Hey guys, we are on our way to Wallaca, Florida, which is about four and a half hours away from where we live. And it's on the St. John's River, and we're going to visit my best friend Megan and Owen. Their family has a house there, so we're gonna spend the weekend there. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna do some fishing, we're gonna do some shrimping, we're gonna just throw the cast net off the dock. It's gonna be a good time. They catch a bunch of shrimp, they catch uh, catfish, redfish, all sorts of stuff off the dock. It's just gonna be a good time with one of our best friend couples. Brooke was the maid of honor in her best friend's wedding, actually. Yeah, so I haven't seen him in a while, so it should be really fun. Yeah, it'll be a good, like, little friend reunion. Yeah, and then if we catch some shrimp, we're gonna do a catch and cook, so stay tuned for that. Okay, now what you're gonna do is, the hand with all this stuff in it, that's the hand that you're spinning and throwing out. And then the hand with this one in it, that hand, you let go very last. Okay. Okay, so ready? Let's see, Meg. Oh, there nice. you Those go. Perfectly, see? Yeah. All right, so guys, why are we having cast netting lessons out here? We are going shrimping. Catching shrimp, it's that shrimp rum 2K17. Where are we at? St. John's River in Wallaca, Florida. Oh yeah, let's see what you got, Meg. Did you let it sink to the bottom? Uh, I don't know. I thought I did. Yeah, you gotta let it sink to the bottom. I don't know if you let it sink to the bottom. Oh no. All right, that was your practice run. All right, All right. we got Meg, shrimp. How about over here? We got it loaded down with shrimp. Okay. Oh my god. We got oh my gosh. so many shrimp. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, That's it's big shrimp. ones too. Look at these things. You gotta get them before they jump away. You still got some of your net. I don't think we should keep these. Keep things. them. Nice. Just one throw, that was so many. Okay, check this out. In one throw, we got a blue crab, we got shad, we got shrimp. There's just so much There's life here. This is insane. Shrimp. A little blue crab. Let this guy go, he's too small. Big shad. Uh oh. Big shad. Now let's eat them. Big shrimp. What'd you get, Owen? A giant shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> a catfish and a bunch of shrimp. What you doing, Brooke? I'm attempting to cast net some shrimp. Nice one. That's a good throw. Hopefully we get some shrimp. I bet you got 30. Oh, I don't think that many. I didn't even get any. <laughs> you did. What you got the some. heck? I got, you got some. See? You got one shrimp. One shrimp. You got a river shrimp. Victor throws it, catches 30. I throw it, catch one. All right, hopefully I get more this time. You ready? Everyone's ready. Are you all ready? The world is watching, bro. <laughs> Let it sink all the way. Not a perfect pancake, but definitely shrimp worthy. <laughs> Dad, what you get? Baby ladyfish. Oh, you did get a ladyfish and a shad, and you and got some shrimp. shrimp. There's a ladyfish. You got two shrimp. Nice. You got a, a big one and a small one. Where'd the ladyfish go? Oh, oh, fish. oh me and Meg can catch this fish. We caught a new species. I got one shrimper. Big Look at all the shrimp that Victor just caught. Yeah. Too good to cut these two me measly little guys. Hey, they look like they're to me. Go throw these guys back. Yeah, you do. That's not a baby. You probably should have put those on. Oh, you got oh, a stingray. stingray. Yeah, you got a stingray. So here, we got a southern stingray. The only thing you got to worry about on this guy is that barb right there. But you get yourself a pair of pliers or something, hold his tail. No need, okay, to, no need to take the barb off if you're not going to keep him.
Adios. All right, Mike, let's see. Noise. All the way down. We're gonna have a new record this time. Jeez. There you go, Meg. Oh, wow. How many? It's my new record. A lot. Looks like a new record, Meg. Good job. What are there? Two, four, six, hold on. eight, ten. It's very hard. He doesn't want to sit in your hand. You just caught this baby flounder. Look how small it is. Oh my god. Oh, let me go. Are we gonna eat this? Eat or what? Is he, is he too small? Ah! <laughs> he got me! <laughs> he's too small? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna go by himself. Go, go, go! go. Right, I'm throwing the secret net. No pressure, bro. <laughs> nice. Now, what do we do? What's the catchphrase? Let it lay and watch it pay. Mitchell Brown, if you're watching. What did you catch? Oh, oh my oh God. Man. I got so many. You things. got so many shad and catfish. I got a lot of shrimp, too, though. Yep. Are you yeah, you did good, bro. That was a good throw. Look at all that. <laughs> You just oh cleaned my up. God. Look at all these shrimp. Shrimp. That was a good throw. Shad, shrimp, Wait, shad. You got two catfish. Are you did? Yeah, there's one here and one there. Oh yeah, we got two catfish in the castle. There's one. Here's this one out. I'm gonna throw this one. Mm -hmm. One throw. Look how many shrimp we just caught, and a bunch of shad. We're gonna let these guys go. We're using some of them for bait, but the ones we aren't, we're just letting back go. I'm gonna throw this catfish back in. But we're gonna keep all these shrimp. And we're gonna do a catch and cook for you guys. Fish Wait, what'd you catch? Redfish. A redfish? Something that I had no idea we would catch some out here. A shrimp? A little piece of shrimp. How sick is that? So this is what we ended up catching last night. We caught three gallons of shrimp, but these have the heads on, so now we're gonna take the heads off. And it's gonna be a lot less than three gallons once we take the heads off. All right, so now all I'm doing is I'm literally putting my fingers on the side of the head and twisting and pulling the heads off and then tossing the heads away. Just twisting the heads off. It's easy. <laughs> it's probably the easiest thing to clean. So do you leave the, the tail on in the shell before you cook it? Um, depends what recipe you're doing. Tonight we're going to do a recipe where we're leaving the shells on. But you can take the shells off if you want and they come off pretty easily too. Do you normally freeze them with just the heads off and the shells on? Yes, we always take the heads off and then we freeze them just like this. And then if you want to do a recipe where you need the shells off, the shells actually come off easier if they're frozen first. you guys what we're cooking up tonight. Tonight we are making a low country boil with shrimp. I live in Savannah, Georgia and this is a classic dish of Savannah that we've never made at home. We've had at a lot of really good restaurants up there so tonight we're gonna make it at home with the fresh shrimp we just caught last night. So we got some shrimp, we're gonna throw in some sausage, some red potatoes, corn, and we're gonna keep it real simple and the only ingredient we're using is Old Bay. And then Megan's making her famous cornbread. <laughs> Which is classic. <laughs> so the way to make a low country boil is you want to take a big old pot of water and all it's going to have in it is water and Old Bay seasoning. Bring that to a boil, chop up your red potatoes into quarters and you're going to boil your potatoes and your sausage links cut up into quarters as well for 10 minutes. After that, 
<laughs> After that's cooked, then we're gonna throw in the corn, which we're cutting up into halves. And then once that's all cooked, the last thing we're adding in is our shrimp, because that's gonna take the least amount of time. So the shrimp don't need very long. Once they turn pink, they're done. So probably not even five minutes for the shrimp. And then after that, we're gonna pour it all on the table and enjoy. <laughs> and in classic low country boil fashion, just spread it over the whole table and no serving platters or anything. Everyone just picks at it with their hands, peels the shrimp, eats it right there. We're gonna put a ton of Old Bay seasoning all over the top of it. So let's get to cooking. in the water. maybe three minutes. Look at them cook already. Look at that. You see that? This is the pink we're looking for. And they've only been in for like 30 seconds. Okay, so our shrimp are definitely done. They're nice and white and pink on the outside. So we're going to strain it and then we're ready to chow down. this mini shrimp if you go to a restaurant. This is something you can only get if you catch them and cook them at home. All right, final touch. Sprinkle a little Old Bay on top. All right, it's good. Oh yeah. Meg, what you think? They're really good. It's a really good dinner. Lots of shrimp, definitely fun. How one? Goes down great with my friend Sam Adams. <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> it's good. So one thing I noticed about these shrimp as opposed to like the saltwater shrimp that we have in South Florida is these guys are really have an earthy feel to them. They're not as uh, crispy. They're, the texture is a little bit different. They're not any better or worse. They just have their own completely different taste, but they're really good. I really enjoy them. Our low country boil ended up turning out really good. It's a fun thing to do with a group of friends and it's also really easy. I thought the shrimp tasted different from like the shrimp that we get down by us, which I guess are saltwater shrimp compared to these were freshwater shrimp. And we also catch them completely differently. Down by us we're using lights and we use nets and you can see them and you just scoop them off the surface. But with these you're throwing the cast net blindly and you never know what you're gonna get. We caught catfish, we caught shad, we caught baby flounders, and we caught a bunch of other things. Now it goes to show you how many shrimp there are. We threw the cast net in the same spot all night long and not one time did we pull it up and not catch a shrimp. And most of the time we were catching like 12, 15 shrimp. It was amazing. <laughs> I had no idea we were going to catch that many shrimp. It was completely unexpected, but it was really fun. I would definitely go back and do it again. If you guys liked the video, like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. This guy, I'm going to let 
go. Let's live another day. It's your lucky day, little dude.